if your heater stops working, what probably happens since it's so darn cold are your drip pipes from your HVAC have frozen and it's not letting water out of them. So if these things freeze and back up, it's going to cause your pump to stop. And if your pump stops, then it's going to turn, it's going to overflow and the overflow switch is going to turn off your HVAC. I'm going to go show you that now. So you'd have to clean these off. So what I did is I shortened them. I had a whole, I had like another uh, yard of plastic tubing that was freezing. So I cut that off. So that should help. But really you just need to keep them warm. Either pour some hot water on it or put some Clorox bleach in the little pump. I'll show you that. So I'm at the HVAC unit and this is a normal pump. What happens is water from different items, dehumidifiers, the HVAC, whatever, they just drip into these um, pumps. Here's the base and that fills up with water. If it gets too high, it trips and this guy stops. And when he stop, well he doesn't stop, I'm sorry. He continues to try to pump, but um, it stops whatever it's connected to. So in this case, it's connected to the HVAC. So now your heater turns off because you don't want to flood your basement or whatever it's down here. So if you follow your pipe, you can actually see this plastic pipe travels all the way up and around the house and then comes out through the wall right here. So this is where I was just a moment ago and that's what's freezing. So if this puppy freezes, it's gonna back up and turn everything off. So again, you can pour some Clorox bleach down the uh, pump and that has a lower freezing point so it shouldn't freeze as much. Or you can do what I did on this other one. I actually took the base off and then I put in a big container down here. As you can see, after one night, it's pretty, you know, halfway full, or maybe a quarter full of water. So uh, my pump will try to clear it, but it's having a hard time. But at least I have a bigger base. So um, your HVAC will turn back on because the float switch in here will drop back down. So there's a couple ways to fix this problem, um, or at least temporarily fix it. It just should never really be this cold in Georgia, so it shouldn't really uh, be a problem in a few days. So anyway, this right here is an easy solution. Just take the bottom off here, dump the water out, and you can put it back on or find yourself a bigger container and stick the pump in there and then just move it back when the day when it warms up and everything starts flushing.